feel like it went out there today? It was a great camp. Drills was very smooth. One on ones went great. Coaches taught me up, coached me up well. Smooth camp for me. Obviously, you already have an Ohio State offer. So, what made you want to come out here today? Just to um, get closer with the coaches. Like today, I, I was with the guys, got closer with the coaches, discussed like a plan throughout the summer, and then I like, had a few of the guys like take me on a tour around the school, talk to a few like the DBs to get close with them. What are the biggest things you learned from Coach Walton today? He taught me a lot of life lessons, but most important, like how you have your own, um, how to like play inside leverage, shoot the hand, what you got. Kick slot, kick slot where you grab the hand and uh, moving over into one on one coverage. What's your summer been like so far? Where else have you been or where else are you going? It's been hectic. I've been to Tennessee, Alabama, Kentucky, just stopped at Ohio State, Michigan tomorrow, and a few more tours after that. And uh, do, you, do you have any plans coming back here later in the summer or in the fall? I'm actually trying to come back when I when I get back home. I'm actually trying to come back like three weeks after to like build more of a relationship with the coaches and more like build more relationship with the team. Is that like in July? Pro around July, get my parents close with the coaches. You mentioned a ton, a ton of top programs that you visited. What kind of stands out in comparison when, when you're at Ohio State? The biggest thing is at many of the places I didn't get to talk to like the players. I didn't get to talk to the players. And then I didn't get to talk to all the coaches like at Ohio State when I came there. I talked to every coach, all the recruiting analysts, all the players. So that gives like that gives off a great vibe. Just knowing it, it shows you that how much they care for me and how badly they want me because there's not many colleges that go out their way to do that for you. Who are some of the DBs you mentioned when you talked to? I'm um, J.K. Johnson, Jair Brown, I mean, yeah, Jair, and um, Cam. What did those guys tell you about Ohio State? They tell me it's an amazing place. It's fun to be down here from where they're from. When you think about just the history that Glenville players have here at Ohio State, how cool is it to be here with your team today? It's an amazing experience because I'm hopefully I get all my I'm trying to get my whole team offered so we all we can build a pipeline all the way. All of us come down here. That's like the biggest thing to me. Um, making sure we build a close bond with each other so we can all end up at the same college. How much do you and Arvell talk about each other's recruitments? That's my that's my boy. We got we basically got every same every same offer. We all got the same top. We got the, like the same top fives, top tens. I talk to him every day. Grew up with him since I was six. Been playing football with him since I was six. He's like a big brother to me. So I'm guessing you'd be pretty happy if it worked out that you guys both end up at the same school. That's, yeah, that's definitely the plan for us right now. We staying close. Making sure we talk talk about colleges all the time. Make sure we always push each other to be the best we can be. Ohio State obviously has a, a long DB legacy. Things haven't gone quite the way they've wanted the last couple of years. Knowing that you could be a part of kind of turning things back around. You talked about that Glenville pipeline too. How exciting would that be for you? That's an exciting feeling just knowing that me coming in and being able to bring the pipeline back to the back to Glenville after a few years when the pipeline was like low key shut off. That means, I, that means I played a big part in like the recruitment. Being at Glenville, I mean, do you still talk to some of those guys that, that were at Ohio State back in the day, the, some, of the, some of the guys who were stars here that also started Glenville? Yes, sir. A lot, of them, a lot of them will actually come to our games. A lot of them will come to our practices. And a lot of them will coach like the track team. So I get a, like, I get a chance to talk to those guys all the time. And they tell me, they tell me what I need to be doing. I need to be like focused on becoming the best player in the country and focus on like focusing on school, being great in my community. So that plays like they, I'm thankful for them like, to always teach me like teach me a way to like get through life. So there's always kind of already a sense of that brotherhood at Glenville that would be at a similar place like Ohio State. Definitely, just because I know that I'm blue tile. Well, me and real trying to bring the pipeline back with our whole team, and I see like how they um it was like brothers, and they brought their whole team to Glen. I mean Ohio State. So that's what we're trying to do, get that back. Do you have like a timeline of when you want to start to narrow down your recruitment? Um, I'll probably most likely like. In the middle of my junior year, I'll probably start narrow, narrowing down my recruitment. I know that uh, Dylan Rayola has been recruiting a lot of guys already for Ohio State in your class. Have you heard from him much? Not yet, not yet. But I'm hoping to hear from him soon because my rank has been going up, like more up and up, just dropped from 65 to 46. So I'm hoping I'm trying to get down there and just become. I'm actually trying to become the number one player in the world. That's that's my biggest that's the biggest thing for me. Are there any of the guys in the 2023 class at all from Ohio that talked to you at all about you know trying to come here? Um, well, mostly you got you got Arvell. That's 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 who the closest I'm with. Um, that's coming down here. Oh, uh, and I actually got to uh, Sonny. You know, he recruited yeah. to the 2022, but I got to talk to him today. What did I you... got to introduce myself, sir? What did he tell you? 
um, well, we didn't really get to have like a conversation because it was during the camp, but he introduced himself. He was a pretty big guy. Yeah. <laughs> it would be nice to play with him.